Friend Zone. We bring on one of our friends here at Fox onto the show. Dan Bai is one of our best friends here at Fox. He's one of the people who helps this place run. He's worked here for years as a studio tech. He appears on Your World with Neil Cavuto. And he has just written a novel, which I have read. It's called Blood in the Streets. Dan joins us now. It's so impressive that you went. By the way, the obvious question, when did you write this? Uh, well, geez, I wrote this back. Uh, it started as a screenplay, so I wrote this years ago, 2003 to maybe 2006, and then I ended up turning it into a novel in 2012, and that was around the time you read it, and you know, uh, you were so great to, to look it over and all that, and then it just took a couple years of refining it before I was able to, you know, get it out there to market, so to speak. Why did you write a screenplay and then a novel? I wanted to make it a movie. It was, it's, it's uh, the, the book in, in its context now is very cinematic. And my, I went to film school, my original idea was to make a movie and write myself in as, like, say, a Quentin Tarantino would do. So I wrote the screenplay, and then I just couldn't get anybody to look at it for a couple years, so I didn't want to give up. So I had the idea, well, maybe it'll be easier turning it into a novel and getting it published that way. So in 2012, I turned it into a novel, and then it took a couple years, and I finally got it out that way uh, as this brain-spanking new novel, Blood in the Streets. <laughs> Amazing. Set where? Uh, in New Haven, Connecticut, where I was born and raised uh, in the 1970s. So it's a, uh, it's kind of an homage to like, you know, the 70s gritty cop films. And it's a fiction, but it is in a historical context set within New Haven in the 1970s. Interesting. This is one of those books that I think really has only been read inside Fox News. I keep getting texts and emails. But have you read this book? It's great. Yeah, well, thank What's you. What's the what, what, what have people outside the channel read it? What's the reaction been? Uh, people close to me have, and they've been messaging me that they like it, and I think they're just, you know, maybe they're just being nice. It's just so weird because I've been with the material so long in my head that it's now surreal that I never envisioned it now getting out there and that people are going to actually have a reaction to it and come up to me and ask me or question me about it. So it's just kind of, uh, uh, it's uh, almost, uh, I'm taken aback by the, you know, that people are actually interested in, in talking to me about it. And I'm like, wow, I never saw this day coming. So it's surreal. Better than the alternative. I've written ignored yes. books before. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Super quick. Are you writing a sequel? Uh, yes, yes. There is a sequel, which will be a prequel, yes. Uh, a we, sequel, which will be a prequel? Yeah, a prequel to this. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm too dyslexic to understand what that means, but it sounds excellent, and yeah. I'll be reading that one, too. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, it's great to see you. Tucker, thank you so very much. Congratulations, you man. You're a published author of a novel, which yes. is not easy. Yeah. Thank you, Tucker.